Ladies and gentlemen, this Labor Day weekend, join Cletus and friends at Bristol Motor Speedway for the biggest burnout competition the United States has ever seen, including Super Stadium trucks with Rodney Gordon and 30 crown bits battling with your favorite automotive YouTubers at the wheel. See you there. Hell yeah, bro. Guys, if you get your pay-per-view tonight, we sell the pay-per-view tickets for five dollars less before the weekend of the event. So, don't wait till Saturday. Get them now. Hell yeah, brother! You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. George, you got any Bluetooth lifters laying around? <laughs> I don't hold it at All right, guys. Here we go. We got a brand new Tech Speed engine for the one and only. I don't know if you call it white trash anymore. WT. Jack Stan's burnout truck has been riding the junkyard LS life for so long. Texas Speed said, listen, we got a new package out, the Brawler. Brawler series. 408, and they wanted to take care of old Jack Stan and get him ready for Bristol. 237cc cylinder heads. Same Damn, heads. bro, these are like turbo heads. If you're we're trying to make all the power. We're going for the power. We're putting the carburetor on it too, Sam. It needs a carburetor. 99 jet. 99 jets, only things that we can... <laughs> About 8 inch. Yeah. 99? <laughs> that things are 8 of an inch. 99? You know how to put 99s, huh? Brand new head gear. Them things gonna live about one of these events. Yes. Dude, that thing's there gnarly. Iron block? Iron block. Damn, so beautiful. They take a brand new GM block. They punch her out 30 over. Yep. To 408 cubic inches. They put their Texas Speed Rotating Assembly in a four inch stroke. And they got this bad mama jamma, dude. Dude, that's a rig. This is sick. So Texas Speed's in the new Brawler series. They're doing a uh, like a 5.3 version. Yep. So they got a couple different cubic inches. They, they just released a 413 cubic inch, too, which uses like an LS3 block. Okay. What are guys. they, like a 1,000 horsepower-ish Yeah, I mean, you stuff. can make a 1,100 horsepower in any of these, but oh, they're nice. just like something to offer you guys that's not a 427. So yeah. For you Whoa, guys, dude. You're building a street truck or something. 427 or is life. It is when you're going racing. Yeah, true. You want to go thump it through the parking lot and do some sick burnouts? This is the one. Okay. All, our series. All right, so we're going to try out Texas Speed's new uh, short block setup. We'll see how it does. You got to get her swapped in. Oh, yeah. Everything else good? The Turbo 400 and converter so, and all that's solid? Okay. Trans fluid, red as a day, I put it in there. Okay, so we just got to pull out the old blown up 5.3 that's in white trash right now. Pop yeah. this in. Cool, get it swapped up. Hey, James, do you think white trash can get an oil cooler before you install this bad unit? Yeah. I mean, running out of time, but <laughs> let's get it. Let's try and get her one. <laughs> oh, white trash bump stick 400. God dang. So we got a little Texas speed, short block, cam motion cam. White trash is going out there. It's going to wing it. It's going to be brawling with the barriers. Old son. Got you a drive shaft just yes, in sir. time. Shout out to PST. Precision Shaft Technologies, our local drive shaft spot. Came in clutch, got the drive shaft for Rodney last again. second, last once second. again. So you're gonna slap this bad unit in and Rodney will be good to go. Good to go. Woo, that was close. So PSD saved. All right, so you guys know my brother's Hellcat that he's been doing the burnout competitions with. Well, he uh, pumped it up a notch. Got a massive Whipple supercharger for this thing. <laughs> and uh, it looks sick. Made 900 on the dyno and he's bringing her to Bristol. He's trying to win that pro class, so we're loading this on the old car transport today as well. Oh, you got that NASCAR in there. Dang. Oh, Dang, son. What a unit. All right, next up, we're going to start up James' burnout car, kill a beat. Make sure this thing runs good. You know, Toast had some leaks, so we want to make sure this thing don't have any leaks. Get it running here in a minute. Make sure all is good. Oil pressure's there. You know the deal. There's oil
is ice cold. See how the leaks department looks. No huge puddles, so yeah, we'll I'm take burning, it. Burning off some residual. Yeah, Ty got some fresh oil in it. So we're dialed. Basically an oil move. change since uh, <laughs> yeah. Indy. Ready to rip. All right, buddy. All right, first fire up, uh, tuna mall is here. Hasn't touched it yet. I haven't touched it yet. All we're Might as well do try it. Hit the key and see what happens. Did have to put that Lingenfelter box in there to go Gen 3 to Gen 4. Oil pressure gauge don't work, huh? Yeah, the cluster's bad, but it's got oil pressure. It's still it spinning. No noise. <laughs> Just took Rodney on a test drive. Drive shaft, amazing. 4L60. Is it done? No, only third gear is done. So we still got, got still got one and two. Then we're dialed. So we're dialed. Well, if three's going out, then. Oh, it's on its west leg. Reverse I think is going out. Right? Well, technically, it's got two legs left. Reverse is good. Then we're good. We're good. I don't know why you pulled. He's got three. <laughs> For fire. Tree gave me a heart attack. I seen branches go flying. Look at it. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's how loud it is. Yeah. It strikes right next to you. You know what, brother? It looks like it might have came down right by your darn. Right Monte Carlo. And then slapped the park off the palm tree. Watch this. Oh, oh my god. Oh, look at Nate's truck got coated. Well, guys, you know, I was talking all smack like our shop's grounded really good. Look, everything's still working. The fan's going and all that. The freaking speed sensor on the dyno got smoked by the lightning. So we have no, no dyno information. I'm just going to guess the horsepower after Nate makes a pull for you guys. I'll, I'll tell you pretty much within five horsepower. So won't be as accurate as having the dyno up and running, but it'll be close. So I'll say a number at the same time, and we'll take the average of those three numbers, and that'll be what it made. All right, ready? One, two, three, 534. <laughs> Did you say 725? Yeah. Damn, yeah, what did you say? 680. I said 535. Where's so I guess we're somewhere. Jet? That was a 250 shot? Yeah. <laughs> it did hit the limiter fast. Yeah. Did you hear that thing? It was like, All right, <laughs> so if we average those together, we're about 650. Yeah. It's probably it closer. Crazy. It's literally 12 miles. Yeah, it's probably closer to 700 then. All right, guys, well, we're gonna pull out a spark plug, check out the timing. But White Trash is back in action with that Brawler Series Texas Speed engine. It'll be at Bristol. <laughs> Here, Ralphie's truck. There he is. God, that thing's so sick. <laughs> Blows the whole truck up. Hey, that's how you know the burnout cars are ready to go to Bristol.
By the hair on his chin, JH has made it on the property. Dude, look at this thing. Wow, runs like a dream. <laughs> wow, what a rig. Does it spin the tires? I don't even know yet. We'll try it. Give it a little, give it a little clutch dump. Yeah. It's a little one. boys well we'll see ralphie up in bristol we got everything loaded for the most part we got kill a bee left in the duster but we're gonna make it we're gonna make it to bristol with almost 50 cars total between the burnout cars and the crown vix so you guys tune in on saturday there's one more day to buy the pay-per-view at the discount rate five bucks off so get it while you can please for maybe win that donnie 2.0 z06 but that's it for now thanks for watching we will freaking see you later